Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little about spray drift because if you're a non-farmer, you may be concerned when you read in some of these newspapers that, oh, there's this drift that's coming from farmers and it's coming from miles away and it's killing all kinds of stuff and everything else. So we wanted to talk a little bit about what farmers do to prevent off-target movement of pesticides. Well, there are certainly a lot of things going on out in the fields and farmers have to be out there at different times throughout the summer. Now, sometimes the weather is absolutely ideal. It's sunny, it's 75 or 80 degrees, there's no wind. Farmers can spray just about anywhere. But sometimes when farmers are out in that field, maybe the wind picks up. Maybe now there's a five mile an hour wind. Maybe there's a 10 mile an hour wind. It's not too bad but farmers still have to be very cautious. Like for us on our farm, we've got some non-farm neighbors that may have gardens right on the other side of the fence. We wanna be real cautious that we don't drift anything over there that could hurt anything on their property. Okay, so here is the two-part strategy that most farmers will use to prevent that drift, other than, of course, not spraying when it's windy. They'll use different spray nozzles and they'll use products called drift retardants. Let's talk first about the spray nozzles. Basically what it comes down to is farmers, in order to prevent drift with different spray Spray nozzles want to have bigger droplets coming out of those nozzles. So there are certain nozzles called air induction or turbo T-jet and either one of those will create bigger droplets. When it is bigger, it weighs more, it gets to the ground faster, there's less off-target movement. Let's talk a little about those drift retardants. Well hold on Brian, you talk about these spray nozzles, you make it sound all pretty. Oh we just switch nozzles, yep. we have bigger droplets, yep. we don't have drift. The problem is farmers are sacrificing control. When they switch to nozzles with those bigger droplets, they are making a conscious choice that you know what, I care more about your property than I do about my product working in my field. So don't just think, well, Farmers should be required to use these different nozzles. No way. They don't work nearly as well on weed control as what those flat fan tips do that produce smaller droplets well, and get better coverage yeah, on Yeah, but weed. it's the same thing with these drift retardants. Basically, drift retardants are products that a farmer would put into his spray tank, and it makes that spray solution thicker. So, in other words, every droplet coming out is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to weigh more. It's going to hit the ground faster. Well, the not only that, with, not only that, they get a little bit thicker, but they also have a little bit better retention on the leaf. There are usually other things along with those drift retardants like surfactants to reduce the surface tension of that droplet and get it to spread over the leaf. But anyway, where, where I was going with this with the drift retardant, it's just like that spray nozzle. When a farmer puts that into his tank, he is giving up control. The reason why is if a farmer has bigger droplets, then that typically means he's not going to cover as much leaf surface area with his spray. So ideally, what a farmer wants is a fine mist so as much of all leaf surfaces of weeds get covered as possible. That's where you have the the best spray coverage and that's where you have the best weed control. Well you say okay well this is easy the farmer can have the best of both worlds he can use the nozzles he wants he can leave the drift retard now just spray on the days when it's not windy. Well in our part of the world those are probably two or three days throughout the summer. And I'm yep. being serious, I'm not even kidding here. There's some wind almost every day. The question for farmers is what time of day are they gonna spray? Typically in the morning or in the evening, there's a little less wind than there yeah, might be in the middle of the day. Yeah, but you can't spray when there's dew on. So you can say, well, overnight there was almost no wind. That's true, but there was dew on the leaves, so you can't spray with dew on the leaves or your herbicide runs right off. So there are a lot of obstacles that the farmer runs into, but the main thing we wanted you to understand today is that farmers are doing Doing just about everything they can to reduce spray drift all the time. It's a big deal. They know they have liability if their product drifts over onto someone else, so they're doing what they can to prevent it. Well, right now, farmers need to be out spraying because our Weed of the Week is running rampant through all kinds of fields across our country. Can you identify this week's weed? 